New study shows an alkaline diet improves the outcome of advanced lung cancer patients. Hey, I'm Ross Pritchard, the author of The Alkaline Reset Cleanse and my brand new book, The Upcoming Alkaline Life. And today, I've got an incredibly interesting uh, study published in the peer-reviewed anti-cancer research journal. The study has shown that the addition of an alkaline diet on top of low-dose cancer treatment for advanced lung cancer patients has created a better outcome than just the treatment alone. Yes, adding the alkaline diet to the treatment, the outcome improved a lot. Now, I will point out here, as I know some people will be thinking, you can't change your pH, and this is true. I'll explain more in just a minute, but changing your pH isn't the goal of the alkaline diet. The goal of living alkaline is to support the body, to be able to more effortlessly maintain the correct pH balances in all the different areas of the body without the stress and the inflammation, the oxidative stress that's caused by an acidic standard Western diet. Now, as I always say, and we, we can never say that any particular dietary approach, no matter what dietary approach you look at, will be able to cure any specific illness or disease. However, I do truly believe, and the data is showing us, that by implementing an alkaline diet, we give the body the tools it needs to be in the best possible place to be able to recover and support whatever treatment path an individual might take. Living alkaline removes the stress, the inflammation, the oxidative stress, and that excess acidity from the body, and it creates a far more effortlessly balanced environment where your body isn't having to work hard 24 seven to rebalance and provide those balances. It removes that stress and it nourishes the body. Now in this study, the researchers identified 11 patients who were set to undergo treatment for non-small cell lung cancer, NSCLC. The patients were to be treated with a low dose epidermal growth factor receptor, EGFR, tyrosine kinase inhibitor, TKI, for the first time, and they were instructed and supported on how to switch to an alkaline diet alongside this treatment plan. They were evaluated for their anti-tumor response to the therapy with CT scans of the head, the chest, and the abdomen, with urine pH being analyzed at regular intervals to see the impact that the alkaline diet was having. The results are absolutely brilliant. They're fantastic. The six men and five women in the study with the advanced lung cancer showed huge improvement in both the progression-free survival and the overall survival length. The normal length of similar patients is 9.2 months progression-free survival and 18.6 months overall survival. And in the study group where the alkaline diet was added on top of the treatment plan, this extended out to 19.5 months and 28.5 months. The exciting thing is this is just the start. That is a huge growth and this is just the start. Now, there's a couple of things to touch on here, including, of course, always the limitations of the study. Now, the first thing that I wanna cover here is the Warburg effect, which is constantly misrepresented. Otto Warburg, to cut a long story short, won the Nobel Peace Prize. It's amazing work. He discovered that in vitro, cancer cells cannot survive an alkaline environment. The in vitro bit is important here. This is in a lab, in a test tube, outside of the body. This wasn't tested inside the body, it was tested in a lab. This has been misused for decades by water machine and supplement sales people to go, oh, alkaline kills cancer. Cancer can't survive in an alkaline environment. It's not as simple as this. It's certainly not as straightforward as this. The normal pH sorry, the pH of normal cells surrounding a tumor are around 7.2 to 7.4, whereas the pH of the tumor cells gets reduced to pH 6.6 .6 to pH 7, so it's slightly acidic. This doesn't mean we can simply put something alkaline in there and it will raise the pH and specifically in that area and kill those cells. It doesn't work like that. However, the chronic stress caused to the body the imbalances, the inflammation, the oxidative stress, the vicious cycles of overacidity caused by eating an acidic standard Western diet that produces this low-grade dietary chronic acidosis 
An acidic diet does increase the risk of cancer. We've seen it in study after study. And providing the body with the environment that removes this stress, that gives you the nutrients needed to maintain balance, repair and rebuild and nourish your cells, bring this balance back effortlessly, decreases the risk, not only of cancer, but so many other degenerative conditions too. So see my other videos for more on that, and there are many more to follow. But the volume of peer-reviewed studies showing the efficacy of the alkaline diet and removing that chronic metabolic diet-induced acidosis is proven for risk reduction and reversal of chronic disease. And it's gathering a ton of pace. There's so many more studies being published kind of since sort of 2015, 2016, and, and I'm gonna be doing many, many more videos like this one soon. And thankfully, cancer is an area that's getting a huge amount of focus in these studies, particularly in the last couple of years. Since there was a review study published uh, around 2015 saying that there's not enough studies to show that the alkaline diet can work with these other therapies. Since then, there's actually been a plethora of studies, clinical studies that have been published that have given really, really strong e uh, evidence to show that alkaline diet can be a re just unbelievable adjunct to regular treatment. I will also state, of course, as I mentioned, there are limitations to this study. Many of you would have picked up on it already. The sample group is very small, 11 people. Um, there's also not a control group in this study. So the comparison data of those months is being drawn from other studies. It would have been unbelievably useful to have seen a comparison group of using just the EGFR TKI low dose treatment, a group that just had the alkaline diet only treatment, and then this group that we had in the study. But the strength of result that, they sh that they've shown indicates that these findings, there is a lot of validity here. And the reason why I said at the start of this video that this is an incredibly interesting study is that it's actually paved the way for many, many more studies in this area that have now been funded based on the strength of this result. So I applaud the researchers for this. It's always brave to go out there with funding in an area where you're sort of treading on the fresh snow, but they've gotten incredible results. And I've seen incredible results with Living Alkaline in my coaching group, the Alkaline Life Club. And there are seriously impressive numbers of published clinical trials now. And I feel like we're at the start of something really exciting. I've been coaching this stuff and helping people for over 20 years. And it feels like we're on the cusp now of the researchers that have been in this area this whole time, getting the funding, this getting the attention it deserves. And I really truly believe we can see some more of these studies pushing this into the mainstream with some real oomph in the next few years. So if you're new to my work and you wanna get started, the very best place you can start is with my new book, The Alkaline Life, which you can order and pre-order below this video. And in my next research video, we're gonna look at some of the studies that came along after this one. It gets even more exciting. So I'll see you all then. Remember to subscribe. If you love what I'm doing, subscribe. Look out for my future videos. I'll see you on the next one. Go pre-order that book now. Take care.